Now for our last topic here, titled Force Group Policy Update, uh, I want to show you really the several different ways in which you can manipulate how often group policy gets refreshed on clients that are attached here to your Active Directory. For the first, I want to show you just a couple of the group policy settings here, also in this group policy location, that you can use to adjust the refresh interval of group policy or even turn it off. Let me scroll up here because I want to show you the group policy setting titled Set Group Policy Refresh Interval for Computers and also for Domain Controllers. Those settings are found right down here. And remember, the group policy refresh interval is 90 minutes plus a random offset of somewhere between 0 and 30 minutes. And so it can take a pretty extended period of time for a group policy to refresh itself after you've made some change here in the group policy management editor. So if you come here under changing the refresh interval and enable the policy, it's here where you can change the interval as well as the maximum amount of offset. So from zero to 30 or from zero to some other amount in order to either increase the amount of time or decrease the amount of time between when each client attempts to contact their domain controller and refresh their view of group policy. Now, obvious caveats apply here. If you start dialing this down to a very small amount of time, well, every single client in your network is now going to be accessing your domain controller that much more often. And so that could have an impact on the resources available on those domain controllers. So be careful if you end up dialing this down to too small of a number. Uh, you can also identify, if not just for computers, you could also identify down here for domain controllers. If, for example, you wanted your domain controllers to have a much lower amount of time, you could do exactly the same thing here with a similarly named group policy. The idea of separating out domain controllers is that it provides you a way of ensuring that your domain controllers are much more up to date than the rest of your computers, because uh, ostensibly, there are fewer of them than the rest of the computers in your environment. And most typically, especially when it comes to auditing settings, if you have a need to very quickly update an auditing setting, well, then those DCs will get that update much more quickly than the rest of the machines in your environment. Lastly, if you wanted to just turn off the background refresh of group policy, there's also a group policy setting in here as well called turn off background refresh of group policy. If you disable the background refresh of group policy, then group policy itself will only apply when machines are powered on or when users are logged in, with the computer configuration applying during power on and the user configuration applying whenever those users log in. In most situations, you probably will never find yourself configuring this group policy setting, but it exists if you don't want your machines changing except during those discrete points in time. Now, in addition to these group policy settings that you can configure for the refresh interval, there are actually three different ways in which you could just simply speed up the application of group policy or instruct it to occur immediately. And if I close these down here, I want to bring up just a PowerShell command prompt here where I can show you the two command line ways where you can instruct a machine to refresh its group policy immediately. You've seen me do these a number of times now here in this course, as well as in the last course for the 70-410. The first is GP update slash force. That will update the policy, both user and computer here on this machine. The second is a similar PowerShell command, it essentially performs the same thing, called invoke GP update. And uh, similar to GP update slash force, uh, invoke GP update lets you just literally uh, speed up the application of that group policy. And the really cool part about using invoke GP update is that right here, you can actually execute this command against a remote computer. So whereas GP update slash force is designed for the local computer only, this uh, PowerShell command here, you could use against the local computer or any other machine that you can attach to here in your Active Directory domain. I did promise you a third command or a third way in which you can speed up the application of group policy, which happens back here in the group policy management console, where if you right click on any of the organizational units that are full of users or computers, you'll find down here a little link called group policy update, which allows you to force a group policy refresh on all the objects that exist inside that container. So all the computers or users in that OU. This can become really handy if you need to very quickly get that uh, change that you just applied out to all the machines or all the users that are a member of that organizational unit.